Hi everyone, I am Georgiana, your English teacher, and today I will talk about something more festive. I will talk about Easter in the United States and how Americans celebrate Easter. And with a mini story, you will improve your fluency. Because while I tell you the story, I ask many questions in English that you need to answer right away. It's like having a conversation with another person in English. Keep listening and get the transcript at speakenglishpodcast.com so you can listen and read at the same time. Thank you for watching and happy Easter, everyone. Bye bye. Today, I will talk about something more festive. I will talk about Easter and how Americans celebrate this holiday. And with a fun mini story, you will improve your English fluency by answering many questions in English. Before we get started, I just wanted to say hi if you're new here. And if you are a long time listener, I want to thank you for supporting this show by sharing it with your friends and family. Okay, let's start. Whenever Easter comes, everywhere I go, I see chocolate eggs and Easter bunny cakes. But what do we celebrate on Easter? Easter is a Christian holiday, celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. The New Testament describes the resurrection occurring on the third day after his burial following his crucifixion by the Romans on Calvary around 30 AD. Americans spend this holiday with friends and family, and some attend special services held in churches on Easter. And while not all Americans observe the holiday from a spiritual point of view, Easter is certainly one of the most celebrated holidays in the States. And if there's one thing people love doing during the holidays, it's eating. Let's take a look at the three most popular dishes at Easter. Let's start with the hot cross buns. These are a typical Easter food. It's a sweet bread seasoned with nutmeg, flavored with currants and apricots, and covered with a lemon glaze. Americans also enjoy a stuffed leg of lamb, a delicious recipe yet very easy to make, with parsley, garlic, bacon, and red wine. Another very representative dish for this holiday is the honey butter ham. This recipe is simple and is prepared in the oven or a slow cooker. And how about the colored eggs and the Easter bunny tradition? Typically, people start dyeing hard-boiled eggs in a variety of colors the night before Easter Sunday. These eggs are left for the Easter bunny on Saturday night. The bunny comes and hides them all over the house. So when the children wake up on Easter Sunday, they get excited looking for the eggs and the Easter baskets filled with goodies. The idea of the Easter bunny giving candy and eggs is said to have originated in Germany during the Middle Ages. Pennsylvania Dutch settlers brought the rabbit to the United States in the 18th century. Another fun fact about the Easter holiday is that Easter and Halloween often compete for the highest candy sales every year. Some years, Americans buy more candy the week before Easter than the week before Halloween. How interesting, right? If you want to tell us how you celebrated Easter this year, you can leave a comment on my website speakenglishpodcast.com. Let's continue with a mini story. A mini story is very simple. I ask easy questions on purpose so that you can simulate a conversation in English. 
It's like talking with another person in English. Let's start. The Easter Bunny was bored of always hiding colored eggs at Easter. Was the Easter Bunny excited? No, no. The Easter Bunny wasn't excited. He was bored. Who was bored? Cinderella? No, no. Cinderella wasn't bored. She worked all day. The Easter Bunny was bored. Was the Easter Bunny hiding something? Yes, he was hiding colored eggs. Did he hide colored eggs in the summer? No, no. The Easter Bunny hid colored eggs in spring. We always celebrate Easter in spring. Santa was also bored of giving presents at Christmas to all the children in the world. Was Santa happy? No, no. Santa wasn't happy. He was bored. Who received presents? All the children in the world received presents. Santa gave presents every year to all the children in the world. When did Santa give presents? In spring? No, no. Santa gave presents at Christmas. We always celebrate Christmas in winter, not spring. So one day, the Easter Bunny and Santa had a nice cup of tea and decided to swap jobs. Were the Easter Bunny and Santa enemies? No, no. They weren't enemies. They were good friends. Did they have a big party? No, no. The Easter Bunny and Santa only had a cup of tea. Did they have a fight? No, no. They didn't have a fight. They were good friends. They actually decided to swap jobs. To swap what? To swap jobs. They decided to switch jobs. That year, things were different. The Easter Bunny hid some colored eggs under the Christmas tree. Were things different that year? Yes, things were different that year. Did he hide the colored eggs at Easter? No, no. He didn't hide the colored eggs at Easter. He hid them at Christmas. Where did he hide the colored eggs? Under the Christmas tree. The Easter bunny hid the colored eggs under the Christmas tree at Christmas. 
and Santa had to fly in a helicopter to deliver presents at Easter because there was no snow. Did Santa fly? Yes, Santa flew in a helicopter. Why did he fly? He flew because there was no snow and had to deliver many presents. When did Santa deliver presents? In winter? No, no, he didn't deliver presents in winter. He delivered them at Easter in spring. While people were shocked by the change, they found the situation amusing as well. Were people indifferent to this change? No, no. People were shocked by the change. Did people get angry? No, no. People didn't get angry. How did people find the situation? Amusing or alarming? Amusing. People found the situation amusing. Perfect. It's the end of this mini story. As you can see, through questions and answers, you can practice and improve your speech just like in a real conversation. It's one of the techniques that I use in my premium courses. I recommend you to take a look at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Okay, we have reached the end of this episode. Remember to listen to it several times. It will help you with your English. See you soon. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.